and welcome back to Love Your Food. A little bit of a basic recipe for you this week. Uh, this is sort of in preparation for one that's coming next week, but this week we're just doing uh, very basic mashed potatoes. So sort of a simple, basic, uh, home cooking, comfort food, one that a lot of people are familiar with. And again, this is one of those recipes where pretty much everyone has their own way to do it. So we're we'll starting our ingredients. We have our potatoes. Uh, we're gonna be using a little bit of pepper, uh, a bay leaf, some butter, some cream or milk, and just a little dash of vermouth, dry vermouth. So let's get started. Uh, the bay leaf is going in the pan, uh, in our pot, I should say, and uh, then we're going to start preparing our uh, potatoes. So if you see any uh, obviously sort of sprouting eyes or anything, uh, we're going to want to take those out. Other than that, we don't really need to do anything. Uh, we like to leave the peel on. There's a lot of flavor, some good nutrients in there as well. Uh, if you see any discolored areas, you can see this little sort of soft spot in the edge. You can take those out as well if you spot them. And we're just going to cut these into eight to cook them. So in half, in half, and then in half again. And then you're going to want to uh, just cover them with enough cold water uh, so that they're covered. Now we've got our uh, our pot pretty well uh, <laughs> crowded in there, but that's okay. Uh, they will still cook just fine. We're going to add a little bit of salt in there. Potatoes are salt sponges. They do take a lot of seasoning in order to not taste <laughs> sort of bland. So uh, you're gonna wanna salt your water. Um, after they're cooked, we're gonna salt them again. So we're gonna put the lid on, bring that up to a boil. And we're just gonna cook those until they're soft. So once they've been uh, boiled for a little while, uh, we're going to give them a test, and when they're soft, they are ready to come out. So we're going to um, drain the water out. And also remove the bay leaf. Do not forget to remove your bay leaf before you start mashing. And then into the pan, while it's still hot, we don't want them to uh, to cool down too, too much. So while it's still hot, we're going to add our butter. We're going to season it with a lot more salt. And here's where the black pepper comes in. Now we like to use a lot of black pepper, which is why we put it in that opening ingredient shot. Sometimes we also season the water with it, but it's a little bit of a pain to get it out at the end before you mash. Uh, we're adding in our milk and just a little dash of that vermouth. So this is all ready to go now, so we're going to start mashing. If you don't have a potato masher, uh, which is one of those items in your kitchen that seemingly most people have for some reason. <laughs> you can always just use a sturdy fork for this as well. So once it gets to about this point, we're going to give it a little taste test. And uh, if it needs it, we are going to do a little bit more seasoning and if you feel it's dry, you can add just a dash more milk. You can add uh, uh, you know, a little more salt, obviously. Um, you add a dash more milk, we're going to add a, da a dash more of the vermouth. Just need that little bit of acid in there. If you want them a little bit more zingy, you can also add a little bit of uh, something like Tabasco sauce in there as well. Now, you don't want to overmash them. It is possible to overmash your potatoes. They get kind of starchy and uh, they're a little bit unpleasant if you overmash them. We like them to have a little bit of texture, so some lumps in there. Obviously, we love having the skin in there as well. Uh, we think it gives a really nice uh, visual. It's uh, more delicious. It's got more flavor. And uh, yeah, this is a super simple and delicious side dish. Goes with all sorts of different uh, meals. And we hope you'll try this out if you haven't already. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.